Hello, my name is John Rose, and welcome to my one minute ab workout. If you watched any of my other videos before, you probably heard me say that I haven't done any abdominal work in almost 30 years. It's got to be well over 25 years now since I've done any type of serious abdominal work or any type of abdominal work at all. But when Hurricane Harvey came in through Houston uh, August 25th, had to kind of start doing a few things indoors. One of them was I started stretching. I'm going to be doing a stretching video. I mentioned that uh, not too far back about uh, plans on doing that. Uh, I started doing some stretching on the 25th. Two days later, I, I decided to go ahead and add one little workout to uh, what I was already doing. One of the first things I do in the morning when I get out of bed is I have a chin-up bar in the door of my kitchen and I just love to just sit there and hang. I do it throughout the day quite a few times. It's a great feeling to just do there, sit there nothing but hang. And then of course walk forward and back. I'll go through all those stretching routines here when I finally get around to my stretching video. But what I'm going to show you today is something I started doing just recently. It's been about six weeks and I can already see the results uh, from only doing one minute a day. Keep it in mind, I haven't done anything in about 28 years. Uh, I still, when I'm bicycling, I can torque my bike and, and grab the handlebars and move and twist and I can get a pretty good ab workout in the way. But the ones I'm only going to focus on now are what's known as the abdominus rectus, the ones that go straight up and down, they give you that six pack look. We also have transverse abs. I've done videos on how important those are. Wedged in your pelvic girdle, you got to suck in your stomach to be able to work those. And then you got the obliques which obviously you can modify what I'm about to do and add some oblique exercises to that. In fact, I'm going to be doing a lot of different additions to what I'm going to show you right now because I've reached my limit using this approach because I can only hang on to that bar for about a minute. Uh, my arms give out before my abs give out. But that's not how I started because I was new to this. Couldn't do very many in the beginning, but I didn't want to push it. I only started out slow. I did 30 for three days. I'm talking about leg lifts, I'm going to show you. Then I went to 40, I did that for 12 days. Then I went to 50 leg lifts for 9 days. Went to 60 and only went 5 days before I went to 70. Then I went 3 days on 70 and went up to 80. Now I've been at 80 now for about 10 days. And I could do a whole lot more, but about the minute mark, I can't hang on to that bar anymore. Now I'm not going to sit here and hang for a minute and do a bunch of, uh, do 80 leg lifts for you, but I'll just kind of give you an idea all I'm doing and this is very basic and it can be a lot harder more advanced and I'm going to be doing that but all you do is just hang and then just pull your legs up pull your legs up and since you can only hang for so while for a little while you kind of want to do it fast and I can do about 20 every 15 minutes so I can get my 80 in within about a minute but the main thing is you can do these until the cows come home, but until you lose all that extra fat in this area and flush out that serpent that's inside your belly, you'll never see the results of these abs. So I'll continue this uh, in my next session when I go into the stretching exercises. But remember, as long as you got a bunch of crap inside your belly, not just the fat, but the stuff that's inside your pipes, it doesn't matter how many crunches you do or any other type of leg lifts, you'll never see any results until you remove that stuff. In fact, there's a lot of people you can tell, you see them in the gym and you know they got really strong abs, but you can't tell because you can't see them. Now the lighting is horrible right now. And again, I don't know if you can tell, I don't know how to flex my abs, what to do to show you if you've seen any results uh, within the last six weeks. If you've noticed, I've got a little bit more definition and it took me only one minute a day is all it's taken. One minute a day. And remember, a lot of people wouldn't see results within what, with that one minute exercise if they have a bunch of garbage that's in this midsection. In fact, my whole body will look different as soon as I eat something. <laughs> I lose a lot of definition just by, have, by processing the food. Now, what I'm going to be doing here in the upcoming uh, workouts for myself is I'm going to add in what's called hesitating crunches. And what you do here is you come up and then you hold it, come up and then you hold it, you come up and then you hold it, and then you go back down. You see, that's way you take away your momentum. You go in each section, 
and then you go down. And of course you can go all the way up and you could twist to the side. I haven't even begun to start doing those type of variations. So there's a lot you can do as you get more advanced with this, but for now I'm in the very beginning stages of working a set of muscles I haven't worked in a long time, so I'm taking it slow. And you need to do the same thing. Listen to your body. You know it better than anyone else. And when you can do that, I guarantee you, my friends, you're in for a treat.